Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. We're going to look at Ephesians chapter number 4, and we will look at verse number 15. Ephesians 4, 15, the Bible says, But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Uh, so this is kind of a partial thought. Um, you know, it's a continuation from the previous verse, uh, well, actually previous verses. And, you know, especially the verse right before it talks about how we shouldn't be, um, we shouldn't be like children. Uh, you know, we should be, uh, at, at this point, we should be more mature, uh, uh, you know, spiritually speaking. And we shouldn't be as, as, as baby Christians at this point, you know, where uh, um, Paul is writing to the uh, church at Ephesus. It's like, you, you need to be more more mature at this point and you should be strong in your doctrine and not be you know carried about with every wind of doctrine um, but you should be set and strong in what you believe and what God says uh, you know and all that and then uh, and then he goes on in verse 15 which we just read uh, but speaking the truth in love and then talking about how you know may uh, that we may grow up uh, into uh, into him, meaning Christ, in all things, uh, which is the head, even Christ. So I want to kind of focus on that little phrase right there, speaking the truth in love. You know, that's part of spiritual maturity is speaking the truth in love. And, you know, oftentimes, especially when the truth is unpleasant, it's difficult. It's difficult to uh, to speak the truth. And... And then there's the other extreme to where we know that the truth is going to uh, rub somebody the wrong way and it may be somebody we don't like. And so we kind of rub the truth in their face, <laughs> right? And neither one of those scenarios, <clears throat> excuse me, neither one of those scenarios uh, are ideal or is ideal. I hope I'm grammatically correct there. Um, neither is yeah, I think that's right. Neither one of those is ideal. And forgive me if I messed that that grammar up. I, I don't know why. I, I, I'm i not entirely sure which verb I should be using, is or are, on that one for the word neither. <laughs> but anyway, um, whichever way you look at it, uh, you know, those are both extremes. And that is not the way that Jesus would want us to speak the truth. Um, because whether we are... Um, too timid to speak the truth because we're afraid of what people might think or we're afraid of um, being made fun of or uh, we're afraid of not being part of the cool kids, you know, so to speak, or the other extreme to where we're so eager to speak the truth because it's going to harm somebody, it's going to hurt somebody, um, you know, because the truth is on our side and we don't like that person, um, that's not how we approach the truth. Jesus makes it very clear here. If we are spiritually mature, we are to speak the truth in love. That's how we are speak the truth. Now, now first of all, let's, let's get to the first part, all right? We ought to speak the truth. Never shy away from the truth um, because the truth will set us free uh, and, and the truth will set people free free. And remember that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so if we are speaking truth, then we are speaking Christ. And so we must not shy away from the truth. And the truth is sometimes there are things that we do that God doesn't necessarily like. It's called sin. And we have to call that out. We have to speak truthfully about that. Sin is God hates sin, and if God hates sin and we love God, then we should also hate sin. And if we love sin and say that we love God, then we are liars. And that is that is just the truth. We cannot have it both ways. Either we love God or we love our sin. Uh, and so we have to be able to speak the truth. But lastly, the truth when we do speak the truth to people, it should come from a foundation of love. It should never come from spite. 
um, because that is also against the nature of God. Yeah, you know, God is truth. The Bible also says that God is love. And so if you really want to speak Christ to people, you want to speak Jesus to people, then we must speak both truth and love because they are the same person. Jesus is love and Jesus is truth. And so when we speak the truth, it must always come from a foundation of love. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.